Hello and welcome to my channel. I am the virtual truck instructor and today we go for another drive. And this time we go in American Truck Simulator with the new uh, visuals and some new other things. I had to reprogram and this button is used trucks now and for the settings is uh, F4 on the keyboard and here a button to get to the settings for the uh, uh, chair, the, the, the seat, things like uh, the, the mirrors and the lights because that used to be this button but that one is disappeared and I couldn't find it anywhere so we go to the job market. I have some stutters in. If I change uh, the screens every time, just in the beginning, it stutters for a moment and then it stabilizes. I don't know what's causing it. And I'm just testing out uh, what I can do and where we, uh, how it's looking with the new things. In between I'm looking at some cargo not too far away. At 1 hour 57 it's pretty far from the point where I am. But Maybe I. Where is this going? That's far away. That's far away. Well, let's try this one. If it's less than two hour drive, it should be fine. Okay, here we go. Well, let's start. Recenter everything. Let's look how long we have. One hour and eight minutes. Should be fine. Uh, let's drive. We have the other boxes here. Keep left. Then turn left. I'm driving here also a Volvo, making a different sound bit heavier although there is a smaller engine in here it's only about 600 horsepower I think Recording is going better than yesterday. Yesterday, the I had the updates with a new Dove truck, and there was a lot of stutters in the recording, so I couldn't use that at all. But we will see when we finished the recording how it's looking. If it's going alright, I probably don't change any of the settings and wait until Euro Truck Simulator gets the update as well. Probably have to go the same 
road back. First bit. to do although when not too heavy loaded you can skip some gears here as well I didn't look at the weight but we will see that when we were there Here we have the stutters again. Curious if that's happening in the recording as well or that it is just something in virtual reality. It's way further in the back. We need a lot of more space here to turn the truck. Snow truck like in Euro Truck Simulator where you have a gap over and where you can turn on a dime. Here you really need your space. Let's look first at it's 19 tons. We have 11 and a half hours, so we have a lot of time. This one off, and here we look at where we're going. I've already been here, so maybe we can do a little detour around here and then we have this one nothing really special on the road I think so let's go we start in first gear because we can easily go and we go one more to the right Euro Truck Simulator only 12 gears so we have to work a little harder over here Let's take it easy because we have time enough. And 
eleventh. And fifteen, as long as we don't have to climb, it's going all right. Skipping the gear every time. Here we go uphill a bit. So I wait until we are uh, on the top before shifting. Gear for the corners. So we need the flipper on the front a bit more here. to stop here anyway. Corner to the left is I can do an eleventh gear. Climbing a bit, I'm using more gears, a bit higher in revs. It will take some time to get to the 75 miles an hour. On cruise control, we'll keep it on sixty five for the moment because there's more traffic in front of me. I have to break again. to the right and 
the road advisor again is late. It's the same here, just control in your mirrors, mirrors where you're going. If you go to the right, you should be allowed to stop and look and go on if it's free when it's free go straight on and i think in second gear we can go on as well Seems everyone is waiting here. No sensors in the road. Skipping some gears. Barely trains running through America, but wherever you have a crossing that can close, you have one. Second to sixth, then to tenth. see the moon that should 
be implemented here. Let's take it easy. And we have to slow down a lot. Before you know it, you can go faster again. show you my truck if I see the parking spot something like that or maybe just here I can stop for a moment Putting on the hazard lights, so maybe those morons will not start to hoot to me. And this is my truck over here. Nice dark red color. And it looks nice. It's changing color a bit in the in the light, as you see. And let's go on. some driving in the sand as well. Going back 
back to ninth gear again. when they are behind you. some strange noises I still don't know what it is exactly like someone is opening a cash registry or something like that in the desert and now we don't see much because it's getting dark and that was the sound again Like something is rolling around or something like that, but I don't know what's causing that.
cars over there, but we can't stay long outside because there's some corners coming. And some climbing and a truck in front of me that's slowing down. Sky. There's some stars flickering. But we will take a look around when we are at the destination. Otherwise, we will make an accident. You see the stars shimmering, flickering, just... It's not static anymore. to see on screen with a virtual reality it's pretty clear Okay, here is some movement going on. I don't know if it's visible in the recording, but here in virtual reality everything is moving. another one not giving away just driving on
of dust coming on the, the truck and it's easy parking you have arrived at your destination your route guidance is now finished I think I selected a random parking you see here the the difference between Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator, you see the long lines connecting are barely visible. And in Euro Truck Simulator you can see them much clearer. And it's easier to see where you have to park and in which, which direction. So they actually shoot use the same ones in American Truck Simulator. My brake lights working just fine. Let's take a look at the sky. I don't know if the moon is somewhere around, but no, I don't see no moon. Only the stars but it looks nicer than it did before the lights the, the, the clarity is much better I hope it will show in the recordings as well let's go inside and detach everything and this is the only thing Every time I get a new screen, it shivers for about one to two seconds and then it's normal and sharp again. So if you have to switch screens a lot, it starts to irritate a little bit. Let's go and find the garage. If you can see it, you, you will notice it immediately, what I mean with the shimmering. Ready to roll. Let's turn this thing around. And again, you have to make a really big circle to get out of here. Or I could have gone, or maybe I'll drive a bit here, because there's some grey roads here, and you can yeah, keep on moaning. reminds me on the very first route advisor in the Netherlands Tom Tom was also constantly moaning when you took another route to turn around don't know how good you can hear the route advisor because I have it switched on a very low volume. Pack of grey lines, but I've given up to get to the 100% because 
because every time you get near or get close, to the, there's an update. They update the, the, the maps and everything what's new, it's grey again, so... And it's not that interesting. For me, it's actually the driving that's interesting. And the whole company thing is just because you need the money. Actually, like in real life, I don't care about money. Just need enough to live. Probably happy here with my garage. The noise of the trucks driving by. Although when you gonna live on an industrial part, you could expect that. It's all over. I still have enough fuel. I didn't upgrade my garages to get the fuel stations, so I do that when there's more earned now at 7.35 I probably can buy a new garage again but there's still enough to buy so it's a new day but I'm going to end this video here if you liked it please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more of this subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when there's a new video coming out thank you bye